All right, Hal, and even though Michael is far out in the Gulf, is effects already being felt, as you saw in the video from Lee there, uh, and that's in, Bal in Mobile County as well. That's right. Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander now joins us live from Dauphin Island. Steve, tell us what you see there. Well, we've got some high waves kicking up. We're on the east end of the beach. Of course, the west end floods pretty much any time there's a storm in the Gulf. It is doing the same thing. But one thing that the mayor is hopeful about, because of the projected track, that this might have less of an effect on the island than Tropical Storm Gordon did. The surf is pounding furiously at Dauphin Island's west end. But this afternoon, there was a surfer braving the waves. What's it like out there? How's the surf? It's kind of rough. Really? Yeah. Do you think it was going to be as powerful as it is right now? Yeah, well, it wasn't like this Memorial Day. The main east to west thoroughfare, Bienville Boulevard, is flooded from high surf starting several blocks away from the West End Beach. Mayor Jeff Collier says the effects of Michael started to be felt yesterday. It's unfortunate that uh, the, the island just shows the uh, fragile nature of that part of the island now while we keep talking about the need for some shoreline restoration. So we are having that. Uh, we expect that that will likely continue until the storm makes landfall. With Michael forecast to hit the Florida Peninsula, Collier hopes the storm won't have a serious impact here. Normally, yeah, when a storm goes in, I mean, say Panama City East, I mean, we shouldn't even really recognize any impact, but, uh, uh, you know, so we should be, obviously, we're on the, quote, good side of the storm, and so it should bring down north, north winds, drier winds. The high waves and strong surf made for quite a sight for tourists and locals alike. What are you going to think? Are you going to leave? Are you gonna no, leave? I'm staying. I got a little camper. It might get a little rocked around a little bit, but, you know, we're going to stay. This is crazy. I have actually lived in Florida for four years, and I just moved back to Kentucky home, and I don't think I've ever been on the beach when it's been storming like this. What do you think <laughs> about the waves? The waves are crazy. They're, like, flowing everywhere. They're coming up higher and higher each time. Kids are so cute. They just love watching those waves, don't they? However, really is not a good idea to get in the water. You can drown. There are rip currents. You see how strong the waves are. Something else the mayor wants to warn people about. We have a lot of tourists on the island. We met some people from Kentucky. Watch out. Move your cars from the flooded areas, from the areas that might flood on the west end. It's a good move to high, put them in higher ground because that water can come up pretty quickly, especially on the west end. Reporting live from Dolphin Island, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.